Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my January favorites and I don't have a ton of stuff to show so it's not going to be a crazy long favorites video, I don't think, but um, I still wanted to film because I know you guys like these videos and I just like to chat about beauty products with you. So I'm totally obsessed with this first product, but I don't ever really know how to say the name of the brand. I think it's Oribe, but um, my stylist got me hooked on this and then I got my mom hooked on it because it's just so amazing. It is the Volumista Mist for Volume. So it's basically like a root lifter um, volumizing product. And what I usually do is I'll take sections, like vertical sections of my hair, lift them up so that you can get a really good cross section of your root, spray it on there, just kind of massage it in. I feel like this gives you the most amazing va va boom volume ever. This is the best product and I love this stuff. Now I will say that it is a little bit pricey so I only ever use this if I'm going to be actually going through and blow drying my hair with a round brush just to make sure that I make the most of the effects of this. I don't just want to spray it on my hair and then let my hair air dry. So anyways I do highly recommend it. It gives you a little bit of light texture too so it's really great if you have fine hair like I do. So this one is the NYX Angel Veil. This is a skin perfecting primer and I'm kind of weird with primers. I go through phases with them like I'll wear one every single day for a month straight and then I won't touch a primer for the next three months after that but um, I do really like this one a lot. I feel like it's hard to find a good affordable or you know drugstore primer. A lot of the ones that I've tried tend to lighten up my skin too much. I feel like you can really see that I have something on my skin. It's like changing the shade of my foundation and lightening it too much. This one is a white color but it doesn't show up. It doesn't affect my skin tone at all. It just looks very transparent on the skin which I like but it still blurs all of my imperfections and just kind of fills in any uneven texture which I really like. So I would definitely recommend this one. Again it works and it's really affordable so gotta love that. So I never thought I could have so much love in my heart for a little brow mascara but I love this Benefit Gimme Brow so so much I wear the light medium shade and they describe it as a brow volumizing fiber gel this has been so amazing for me because brows can be a process sometimes like I really have to go into the eyebrow zone in order to you know go through the whole process of doing the dip brow pomade and everything like that and sometimes I just don't want to even go into the zone I just want to fill in my eyebrows really quickly and be out the door. That's when this comes in and it is perfect because it's just so quick and it just darkens my brows, fills them in, and it's just like a five second ordeal and I love that. And it has the cutest little brush so I feel like thinking about it now I think this is really the trick to it because that is how you get such a precise sculpted eyebrow with a brow gel. So next I have this Lorac Tantalizer Deep Body Bronzing Luminizer and I had a little sample of this that I just went through so quickly because I love this so I went out and bought the full size and it's basically just a liquid bronzer and it kind of gives your skin that final finishing touch and it just makes it look really bronzy and glowy and almost like a dewy look to your skin like it's really really hydrated and it's just glows. I love this so much. You can also mix a little bit of this in with your body lotion if you just want a hint of color but I like this too because one thing I've noticed is that it's so easy to blend into your skin. You never get streaks. It doesn't cling to any dry spots or anything like that. It just goes on nice and even and I really love this stuff. So next I have this Michael Todd True Organics Lavender Spray and this is a hydrating mist. So this tones, hydrates, and refreshes all skin types. And what I really love about this is that the lavender scent is very calming and relaxing but it's not artificial fragrance and this is not you know overwhelming or anything like that. It's just super refreshing and I like the fact that it's really versatile so you can spray this on your face before you do your makeup if you want a little bit of extra hydration which I really like because it gives your foundation a little bit more slip so it will go on a little bit more smoothly. You can also spray this on your face at any point throughout the day because it's not going to ruin your makeup and like saturate your face. It's a very fine mist. Not only is this a facial spray but this is also a pillow spray so the lavender scent kind of helps you drift off into dreamland at night. And I wanted to do a quick demo of the avocado and mango hydrating facial mask because it's so different than a lot of the other 
masks I've used. This one is kind of an orange color. It smells amazing and I'll use this one probably two to three times a week and just apply a thin layer across my face and let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it off. And I actually used this after I got back from Florida because the plane left my skin really, really dry and this just did the trick. It leaves my skin so incredibly soft like nothing else I've ever tried. If you are interested in either of these products Michael Todd was kind enough to provide my subscribers with some discount codes so make sure you check out the link and code down below in the video description. And then I only have two lip products to show but this one is my new jam. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the color Melted Sugar and this is I think one of the new colors they recently came out with and it's the most amazing nude color. I have been wearing this so much, pretty much every single day. I think because it's so versatile, so I can really do a lot of different things with it. If you just wear it on its own, it's a really pale, neutral nude. Or you can even wear it over a darker lip liner and get kind of that trendy, darker nude lip going on. Or you can, you know, add a pink gloss on top or a peach gloss on top and just switch the colors up a lot of different ways. It's just so pretty and I think the reason I love it so much is it's such a high impact full coverage color so it really shows up and you can really see it. So I absolutely love this product. And then also this Tarte Lip Surgeons gloss and this is in the color Exposed. So this is a bit of a darker nude also. It's kind of like a brownish pink I guess but it's really pretty and it has some nice shine to it and I always carry this one with me because it's just a good everyday type of color and it is really shiny the only thing I don't like about this is that it's a little bit sticky and I don't mind that on my lips but when I walk outside and a gust of wind comes along and then my hair gets stuck to my lip gloss Oh, the struggle is real. That's the only reason that I don't like the fact that it's a little bit sticky, but it's not that big of a deal. When I'm actually wearing it, I don't mind that at all. So I really do like the color of this. And yeah, it's just something a little bit darker than I'm used to, but I think it works really well for every day. I raved about my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette in my last favorites and in a recent tutorial. So I'm not going to go on about it too much, but just know. I love this. And then I did show you guys the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette in a haul not too long ago. And I knew when I got it that I, I knew I was going to like it because the colors in here are very much my style. Very rosy, dusty rose type of colors. Not that they're all pink, but even the brown shades have like a hint of that rosiness to them, which I really, really love. But um, yeah, it turned out that I fell in love with this even more than I thought I would. The colors are just so gorgeous. They all work together really well. I do have more of a fair skin tone, but I do use shades that I would probably consider more suited to a deeper skin tone, but I will just mix them with something lighter or really sheer them out. Um, but with this, there's a lot of options for transition colors that are a bit softer. So I would highly recommend this if you fall on that, you know, lighter end of the spectrum. And then the last beauty product I have to show you guys is this palette by Lime Crime. This is the Venus palette. So I really love this because I feel like it's a breath of fresh air. It's something a little bit different than the thousands of nude palettes that are out there, right? So just different shades of pinks and like coral colors. And I absolutely love it. I think it's just different, it's fun. Um, I've been getting really into using this one down here, Muse, which is like a plummy pink, and this one here, Venus, which I don't know how I would describe that. It's like a berry pink, and kind of working them into my everyday looks where I would normally only use shades of brown, and I'll just take a pink and like pop it into the crease and use it as a blending color, and it just switches things up a little bit. I feel like it's kind of becoming the new neutral for me, and I don't know. I just really like this a lot, so I'll definitely try to do a video video using this palette for those of you guys who are interested. So that does it for all of my makeup and beauty favorites, but I do have one more favorite for you guys, my broccoli. <laughs> so this was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend Josh, and weird fact about me, I love broccoli, like that's so weird to say that, but I love all vegetables. I just... I'm not a vegetarian or anything, I just love vegetables a lot. Josh always thinks it's hilarious that I'm so obsessed with broccoli. So he got me this for Christmas. Like look at its little body. I don't, I don't know. I just think it's the most hilarious thing ever. And he said he found this in the kids section. 
at Ikea. So for any of you guys who are interested, they may have other vegetables as well. If broccoli isn't your thing, but I mean... I mean, come on, how could you not love it? Plus, it is so soft and cozy and comfortable. So, I love my broccoli. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for my favorites video. I'm also gonna include some links to some of my current favorite songs down below. Um, one mix from Sweater Beats in particular that is so, so good. I've been listening to that one a lot. So that pretty much wraps up my favorites, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can find me at Makeup by Allie on Instagram and Twitter. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to mention. I love you guys. And yeah, I love you guys. I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Yeah.